Round number seven of the 2023 Grand National Cross Country Racing Series is here. Round number seven, the John Penton GNCC, the longest standing round of GNCC. Come off a great round six in Indiana. Adam McGill put it on the box with a second place finish. Is the Gator back? Is the old Wiley veteran back? And of course, the Bidwell Bullet taking the win, returning to his winning ways. All that and more starts now. Hello and welcome to round number seven of the 2023 Grand National Cross Country Racing Series presented by Specialized, an AMA national championship. We are here in Millfield, Ohio for this, the Wise Co. Performance Products John Penton GNCC. And we begin, as always, with the Specialized Race Recap. Round number six, Indiana. Now, not the Ironman. This is the Hoosier. However, on the same property, different race course, though, uh, presented some great racing at the Hoosier GNCC. Jared McClure, Adam McGill, the Honda boys out in front, setting the bar high, but the Bidwell Bullet would eventually find himself in the lead, but I got to hand it to Adam McGill, the Gator, the 521, the old Wiley veteran, uh, had just a stellar race, put it on the box. I think he was as stoked as we have seen him uh, in a long time, in, in a number of years. Adam McGill had to make some changes this last offseason that I think contributed to that. We'll talk more about that. Uh, hopefully, we get an opportunity to talk about that this show. But again, stellar racing. Of course, Bryce and Neil coming off uh, a difficult round number four, a difficult round number five. There were some penalties. He had some mechanicals. Hunter Hart was the right place, right time. Capitalized, grabbed a couple of wins. But the Bidwell Bullet did what he had to do. Uh, to come into round number six. He went out there, he got the win. He's your points leader once again and uh, back in control of this championship run. But again, nonetheless, fantastic riding. Great race by the Bidwell Bullet back to his winning ways. Taking a look at, at that top 10 again, Neil McClure and John Glotta. Glotta really turning it on. I think a podium contender as the season moves on. Oh man, uh, this is this is a, a great Hoosier track today. Uh, this track was really tough, kept you on your toes. You could override this thing, you know. Uh, looking at it yesterday, I thought it was going to be just just uh, just grooves and just wide open, but it actually got real deep, got real ruddy. Um, there's a lot of stickiness, so uh, you had to really stay on your toes. But uh, we got a good start. About fifth or sixth going into the woods, a little bit wet, a little bit muddy, kind of picked our way to the pack. Got to the lead by the end of the first lap, and uh, man, we just kind of just rode our race from there. You know, every lap, it, we, we just continue to just click off and uh, just do our thing. You know, uh, this weekend, the last two races kind of been, you know, a little bit of drama and, and all that. And today, I just want to go out and ride my ATV and just get back to that. You know, uh, I just want to come here to do it. I just want to race and uh, do my best and go home. So uh, really pumped with the team, all the family, all my friends. Um, all the fans out there cheering me on and uh, patting me on the back and, uh, you know, really coming up to me this weekend, talking with me and uh, spending time with me. It means the world. Uh, I'm working for you guys. I'm working for my team. Got a lot of great people around me, a lot of great sponsors, and uh, really happy to get this thing back up on the, on the box. Well, and as we take a look at the top 10, as far as the point standings are concerned, Neil, your, uh, I will say new, he, he, once again, your points leader, uh, Hunter Hart in that two spot. So fast forward to today's. Uh, race here at the John Patton GNCC. Again, historic Sunday Creek Raceway GNCC facility. Now the property, if you've been here years ago, I gotta say it looks nothing like it did uh, several years ago. Made a lot of changes to the property. All balls racing, whole shot award up for grabs and he goes up and he gets it. That is the number nine. Boy, has he been stellar to start these races. Jared McClure, the Cobra, the Sneaky Snake, going up and getting it, grabbing that whole shot in that early lead. And boy, it has been a muddy one to say the least here at the John Penton GNCC. Gnarly conditions. And if you have ever been 
it's going to be a lot of brown riders on brown bikes today, okay? There's Adam McGill, little troubles for him. Uh, but again, this mud in southeastern Ohio, I, I got to be honest, it is like nothing else in the nation. We'll talk more about that. Have no doubt about it. BNR Motorsports, whole shot award up for grabs in the XC2 class. Oh, good battle. Oh, that one might be too tough to call, but that's what we're here for. Side-by-side -side battle in that XC2 class. And as we look at it, through five round, the first five rounds of racing, it was all Steve Harrell. And then in round number six in Indiana, Brandon Owens finally getting it done, grabs his first win of the year. So the big question, can uh, Brandon Owens keep it going? Can Steve Harrell return to that number one spot? A lot at stake in the XC2 and early on. Uh, this is going to be a theme today. Uh, we've had copious amounts of rain this season. It has been absolutely insanity, uh, or this or this weekend, I should say. It's been insanity. A lot of riders getting stuck on a huge delay on a Saturday. Pro race supposed to take place at 2. So many riders out there having troubles. This one was majorly delayed. But nonetheless, we're off. We're rolling. The Cobra. Jared McClure with the whole shot, the early lead, a lot to sort out. Going to be a wild day of racing. We'll be right back after this. This broadcast of GNCC Racing on MAV TV is brought to you by Specialized. It's you only faster. And Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. Well, GNCC, obviously more than just racing. Well, I mean, let's be honest, this is racing uh, related for sure. We had a little fan fest. And how about that? Our good buddy, Rodney Tomlin, came out of, uh, well, sort of sort of came out of retirement for the weekend. Had uh, some autograph signings with some of our pro riders on the two-wheel side. Uh, see Josh String there, Johnny Gerard, Ryder Lafferty, and pro Yamaha guys, Thad Duvall getting some love. And uh, just, just a great event, fun had by all Friday night uh, fan fest. Uh, Rodney had the, the local radio station out there as well. And uh, just, just fun all around. I mean, it was an opportunity to go out and grab yourself some autographs, do a little signing. Craig peeking over, wants to see how Ben Kelly does his thing. He says, okay, that's pretty good, Ben. You can write cursive. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Jordan Ashburn, the Magna One Motorsports team out there in full force getting some autographs, chatting with some fans. That right there, I mean, honestly, that that is what GNCC is all about. It, it, first and foremost, it is a family event. There is fun to be had uh, by everybody in attendance. There is no doubt. And I love that. Zach Heron, one of our new announcers here with, uh, with Racer TV and GNCC, getting some love from Rodney Tomlin. There's the... The old guard, the old wily veteran, and the rookie, if you will. So how about this? Josh Merritt, the number 11. We knew brown rider, brown bike, but the number 11, Jared McClure, now out in, or in, excuse me, uh, Jared McClure in second. The cold train in the number three spot. Um, but again, you got to hand it to Josh Merritt out in front. Merritt has been a guy... You go back one season as more of our XC1 riders coming through right here. But you go back a season ago. We go into the 2022 season. And a lot of hype uh, around Josh Merritt um, felt like he was a guy who would be contending for podiums. Um, matter of fact, I remember going into the last season, I said, this is the year Merritt gets that first podium. And it just never really came to fruition for Josh. And I think Josh had those same expectations. You fast forward a year, he keeps his nose at the grindstone, keeps continues putting in the work. He's got the machine dialed and showing right here in some very gnarly conditions here at the John Penton GNCC. Josh Merritt is your leader, leader, leader. And if you don't like that, well, quite frankly, you just don't like racing. There's something wrong with you. But uh, again, Merritt can't say enough good things about him. Uh, obviously, a long way to go. And, you know, he is leading this one. This is territory he is not familiar with. You got a guy who's got wins under his belt in second, and a guy who's got wins under his belt in third. Cole Richardson, Jared McClure, both two riders experienced in, uh, in, in knowing what it takes to go out and win a GNCC. 
And oh, mercy sakes alive. Takes one to the noggin. And here comes the Gator, Adam McGill, to try and capitalize and pick up a position. Of course, the Gator coming off that second place finish just a round ago at the Penton GNCC. He was stoked on that. We'll see if he's got more of the magic here. Um, little ways back in the pack, but nonetheless, Adam McGill can certainly turn things on here today. And maybe put it on the box again. McClure, your new leader, 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 the number nine out in front. But boy, this one's tight. Given the conditions, I don't think anybody's going to be able to run away and hide here today. So Merritt falls to the two spot. Richardson in the, in the number three position now. So there is your top three as it stands so far. Here at the John Penton GNCC, again, very muddy conditions here this weekend. Nobody's running away from anybody. And um, how about a Bryson Neal coming off the win? B. Neal. Well, he could use a win. He's got the points lead, but nonetheless, he could certainly use a good points day, as could Hunter Hart. Both riders not doing the best right now, but a lot of racing left. How's it stand? McClure, Merritt, Richardson, Jay Shad in fourth, and it's Ronnie Rush rounding out the top five. We'll be right back. Well, as mentioned, GNCC, more than just the pros racing that's right the future future of gncc took to the race course on a saturday night oh ricky towery you could see the mud on ricky so first and foremost hats off to you ricky puts in a full day of racing and comes out here and still puts on a show for the kids you know the man is tired he don't he didn't care he doesn't care it doesn't matter he's still gonna go out there and give them the official waving of the flag. Stasic race, uh, a fun race, uh, not a points race. The kids just get to go throw their leg over the Stasic machine and go rip that thing and till their heart's content. And I say it's, you know, not a points race, but I mean, you look at some of these kids, we're banging bars. Look at that. He's going to run right into dad. Boom, right into the thigh. <laughs> that might have been Chad Duvall, actually. Now that I'm looking at that, I think that was uh, the dad of Thad Duvall, and that would be his grandson, Jacoby Duvall. So how's that for generations? There's Craig DeLong and uh, Josh Strang <laughs> checking things out. He said, what do you think, Pop? I got a medal. You going to get one this weekend, too? And Josh Strang said, well, we'll see. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, but nonetheless, here's Jacoby, the 989. His mom, Maggie Duvall, greeting him at the finish line, getting the checkered flag. And he's like, I fist bumped my friends now. Come on. Come on. And in the meantime, how about it? <laughs> Throwback, if you will, the 521. The Gator, Adam McGill, is your leader, leader, leader in this one. And I think this is a good opportunity. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the changes in McGill's program that he had to make coming into this season. Uh, there is Merritt in the number two spot. So Merritt has picked up that position. He had fallen back, I believe, to third, but now Merritt up into the two spot. Um, let's talk a little bit about Adam McGill and his situation. Found out in the off season, hey, you got Lyme disease. Um, and he had to make some changes. And to, to his wife's credit, to his program's credit, uh, they began, you know, cooking the, uh, I guess, diet, dietary plan of, of what we would be required when a person uh, is going through having Lyme disease. And uh, Adam said, yeah, it kind of made me sort of take a step back and really think about what I was putting into my body uh, and how I was training. And, you know, we hear it a lot. Merrick's still in the number two spot, by the way. We hear it a lot, riders. Oh, I had the best offseason I've ever had. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. Um, and a lot of times, you know, there's some truth to that. But if everybody's elevating their game, right, you see what I'm saying? But I really think uh, Adam McGill did put in the work. He listened to his body. And uh, I think it's showing. I think it's showing this, this season. He's got the podium around to go. Here we are in round number seven. He's leading it in some pretty gnarly conditions as well. Um, quite frankly, uh, you know, he's he's an old man in the sport. He's not the oldest guy out there, but he's one of the oldest. I can say that because he's, he's close to my age. He's still younger than I am, so that tells you how old I am. Uh, but nonetheless, the old Wiley veteran out here doing it with a man uh, who has not had a podium in his life. So Adam McGill in a, or a pro podium, I should say, for Josh Merritt. So Adam McGill putting in the work right now to try and bring it home. There was a shot of Wyatt Wilkin, by the way. Wilkin, can you imagine? 
if we had a podium where it was McGill, the old Wiley veteran, taking a win, Merritt with his first overall podium, and then you got the rookie up there, Wyatt Wilkin, this place will lose its mind if it stays how it is. Still plenty of racing left, though. McGill out in front now getting some pressure from Josh Merritt. What a test for Josh Merritt in this situation. He wants to be a podium guy. This is his opportunity. A win with, is within his grasp. Now, I got to say, a difficult task to be able to pass the old Wiley veteran that is Adam McGill. Wyatt Wilkin, the rookie, another guy. He's in third. How about it? Oh, and I had a small panic attack. Wasn't sure what was going on there, but we're going to take a commercial break. Adam McGill is in control. Can he hang on for the win? We'll be right back after this. This broadcast of GNCC Racing on MAV-TV is brought to you by Specialized. It's you, only faster. And Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. And welcome back to GNCC here on MAV TV, the John Penton GNCC. We've got ourselves a battle. It is the old Wiley veteran, Adam McGill, out in front leading it. Josh Merritt is on his six. He wants the win, although I got to say, Merritt would be pretty daggone stoked with a podium as well. And what a difference a couple of hours make now. Okay, so we're not quite kicking up dust yet, but nonetheless, this was a nasty, nasty, muddy race. These men have put in the work. Adam McGill is your leader, Merritt in the number two spot. And last we saw, it is still Wyatt Wilkin in the number three position, but boy, does he have some pressure. And if there's anybody you don't want behind you, who is it? Bryson Neal. We turn to Adam McGill now. Just a few more turns and you can see the crowd stoked for the old man as the Gator comes through. He's got to have the cold chills as he sees Ricky Towery wave the checkered flag, and it is a win for the Gator Adam McGill. He turns back the clock, and how about that? Somebody get this man a drink. What a race by Adam McGill. All smiles. And rightfully so, rightfully so, getting it done in southeastern Ohio. There it is. <laughs> it doesn't count, Adam McGill, unless you make it bubble, brother. Good job out there. But uh, again, it, what, what a fantastic ride. And I, I think, quite frankly, if you don't like seeing the old man win, regardless of who it is, uh, you just don't like racing. This is just a cool moment. A congratulations there by Mark Notman. <laughs> Good day all around. Dude, it was chaos. Um, we didn't have the greatest of starts, and uh, we got out there and some of that them bottoms down there. And man, these 22 inch overboard advents, I had no issues. Just them guys were all going around with a small tire, and I was like, hey, I've been watching Monsters game. Watch Great Digger get over this and just buried it down in there, and that thing just tractored through everything. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to hold it together. We got there towards the last lap, down over there behind where the start was, and there was a guy spun sideways, bike shut off. I ended up having to get on my bike, get him turned around, get him off the track, and um, was able to get by, and Josh caught me again. And Man, I was just praying. I was praying to, you know, four pounds, six ounce baby Jesus. I was like, let's hold it on to the end, and we did. And, Man, I feel like a real, I feel like a real butthead. I told my wife to stay home. It was really nasty. No one gonna be worth coming. And I'll buy you some bags of dirt, Haley. I love you. And that, that's it. That's all I got, man. I'm gonna go home and buy some dirt, I guess. <laughs> Well, a day of history, no doubt about that, as Josh Merritt will come in for a second place finish on the day, his best uh, finish of his pro racing career. It's great, man. Uh, I don't know, it feels great. Um, just racing out there with those guys, battling with Adam at the end, Jared at the beginning, Jay out there, it, it, was, it was so gnarly, the track, was it was actually a lot of fun i wish we could do a couple more laps i'm not gonna lie me and adam caught a lap on the last lap and we sat for it felt like an hour and <laughs> we pushed his bike out of the way we kept going i'm like let's go adam let's go we gotta go i, I didn't care he, he pulled away i'm like i just gotta make it to the finish line i just wanted to get here and get this first podium it it feels amazing everybody behind me i can't believe it i just can't believe it well, as we take a look at the top 10 from today, again, the Gator, Adam Gill with the win, Merritt with the two spot, 
And Bryson Neal uh, rounding out that top three. The rookie, Wyatt Wilkin, finishing fourth. Me and Adam, we was having a conversation before the race. And we was talking, but t- big, big tires or no tires? And Adam, he said, I'm going with big tires. I, said, I think I'm going to stay tiny. And I said, OK, well, let's see what pays off. The big tires, they went out today. I tell you what, that track got way deeper, way gnarlier than I thought it would. Um, three times, uh, people got stuck in front of me. You know, I, I was able to keep going all day, but I was just in the wrong spot, wrong time. A few times, and uh, people just buried it with in right in front of me. We was in, you know, knee deep ruts, nowhere to go. Had to muscle the bike out sideways, try to get out. You know, every time that I came up on a big group of guys, it was just a blob. You know, you're just barely able to see out of the vision. There's people going everywhere. Every lap, there's uh, there's a new tough spot on the track, and um, I just kept on seeing pink pink stuff on the back of the helmets for our class, and seeing glimpses of the jerseys of the people we're racing against, and uh, just kept on clicking off one by one by one. And uh, man, I'm, I'm super pumped to grab this third place today. This is awesome. Well, we take a look at the point standings. Neil out in front now gets a little breathing room. Rough day for Hunter Hart, an 11th place finish. Not what he needed here in round number seven. We take a look at the specialized race recap, and it was the sneaky snake, the Cobra, Jared McClure, pulling out in front, grabbing a whole shot in the early lead, and then the boys went to work in the mud. That, and, and if you've never been to Southeastern Ohio for, for a muddy race at the, the John Penton, um, the best way to describe it, it is somehow the most slippery mud on planet Earth, and it has the consistency of chunky peanut butter. Okay, um, I don't know how it or it like it's it's not of this world. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. It's heavy, it's slick, it's nasty, it's gnarly. It's unlike anything else on the planet. And these guys went out there and competed in it, and the cream of the crop rose to the top. The hell about it. I mean, I got on. It takes my breath away, and I'm at a loss for words. I'm stoked for Adam McGill, the old Wiley veteran, going out and grabbing the win. I'm stoked for Josh Merritt, his first ever podium. A sensational day for him. And you got to hand it to two, two other guys. One, Wyatt Wilkin. Two, Bryson Neal. Wilkin uh, was in a podium position. He fell to fourth, but my God, if you're going to get passed by one guy and it's the defending champ, that's a pretty daggone good day. So congratulations to Adam McGill on the win. It's champagne showers on the box for all three. That's going to do it for us here today. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.